Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss lead code weekly 410 question 2, which is count the number of good nodes. The problem statement here is there is a undirected tree with n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and rooted at node 0. So root is your node 0 and you are given a 2D integer array edges of length n minus 1 as it is a tree the edge is going to be n minus 1 where edge of i indicates that there is an edge between node ai and bi in the tree okay a node is good if all the subtrees rooted at children have the same size okay during the contest most of you might have confused over here what do they mean by size here size is nothing but number of nodes okay so you can get the size the size here represents the number of nodes in the subtree so it is saying that a node is good if all the subtrees rooted at children have the same size okay let's understand this let's say you have a node let's say it has some neighbor or it children few children let's say this is one subtree this is one subtree this is one subtree and this is the other one so it is saying that this node can be good node only if only if all its subtrees have the same size means all its subtrees should have same number of nodes okay so to know to know whether this is good node or not what information you need from its child node from its child subtrees to say whether it is a good node or not what information you need from its child nodes you just need the number of nodes present in that child subtree right i want to know number of nodes in this subtree in this subtree and this in this subtree in this subtree so that only when all these are equal then i can say this has a good node right so most of you might have figured out we can do a simple dfs when i'm at any node i'll simply go through its child nodes to get the number of nodes which is size over here and i'll get this size let's say something like x let me write over here let's say the size over here is x this is say y this is say z and this is say v all these should be equal then only we can say it has a good node this node we can also understand more clearly with the example with the given example let's say this one so they are saying that except this every other node is a good node let us understand why it is so if you see here it root zero how many what is the size of this subtree and what is the size of this subtree and what is the size of this subtree this subtree is of size 4 because 1 2 3 and 4 there are 4 nine, four nodes so size would be 4 what about this second subtree same as there are 4 nodes size going to be 4 and this last subtree is of 4 nodes again so which is size 4 so as all the subtrees sizes are matching so this is a good node So same thing applies for this node as well if you see all its child subtrees have the same number of nodes so it is good node as well and if you observe clearly every leaf node is a good node because it has no children so size would be zero so it is good node and same thing for this it has only one child i mean if you observe most of you might also think in this way as this is a tree they think in the direction of binary tree left and right but here it is not here a node can have any number of children right so i mean it can have one child or any number of children so this is incorrect if you are thinking in this direction okay i hope the question is clear and and also most of you might have figured out the 
implementation as well if we can do simple dfs we will be able to get this information that is number of nodes the size of that subtree right so in every dfs call i will return the number of nodes in in that subtree so what all things you need in your dfs traversal funny one thing here is if you observe these are edges we need to build this tree right so that is going to our first step build tree let's say this is simple thing you can do this so let's focus on our main logic as you have let's suppose you have computed this tree let's say tree is the name of that data structure then you need a starting node let's say node we are starting from zero because they are already given in the question which is rooted at node zero right and then what else you need we need visited array what else that's it so this return type going to be integer where we are returning number of nodes that's it so let's jump into implementation okay so let's start with the code uh, so input is edges right we need to convert it to a tree that is our step one as discussed so step one is going to be build tree so let's create array of array list uh, of type integer for each node we are storing all its adjacent nodes so let's name it as tree array list of size here the number of nodes are not given right so if you see clearly here edges represent edges are of size n minus 1 how can you get the number of vertices edges dot length plus 1 will give you number of nodes so you can put n here so i'll simply iterate on each index and i'll populate uh i'll initialize each index with new array list such that i can store list of neighbors in it then i'll iterate on each edge it is edges so i'll iterate on each edge and as it is undirected edge that means if there is edge from a to b that also means there is edge between b to a as well so tree of edge 0 dot add edge 1 as well as from 0 to 1 as well uh, from 1 to 0 as well this completes our first step which is building the tree then we'll call the dfs uh, what we need dfs what all things we need in the dfs one is as discussed one is we need tree and one we need the one thing is we need current node here the root is the tree is rooted at node 0 so we we'll should start from 0 and then we need boolean array for visited and the answer we can store it globally int answer which is denoting the count of good nodes at the end we can simply return the answer so let's look at this dfs return type is int because we want to return number the size of the subtree this is tree and this is our current node and this is the boolean visited array right then in our dfs first thing that we need to do is let me move this first thing that we need to do is mark the current node as visited 
and then we'll iterate on all its neighbors int neighbor tree of we'll iterate we are iterating on neighbors of the current node which are presented tree of node uh, for each neighbor i need to know the size i i need to make sure that every subtree has same size so initially i don't know the subtree size right any of the subtree i'll initialize it minus one so this size will store the one of the subtree size i need to pass the tree and neighbor for which neighbor for which subtree i want to know the size then visit it should i visit every single neighbor no right only if it is not visited i'll visit it then if the size equal to minus one i'll initialize the size to this or else if i already if i already have a size of one of the subtree it should match with this size if it is not equal then i can put some boolean value saying is good note let's assume it is a good note and whenever it is not equal we'll make it as false and at the end we need to return the number of nodes present in that subtree right how can we maintain that thing you can put the total size so what will be the size of this current subtree including the root node is sum of all the subtree nodes right so i should also add this plus then i should also include the current node as well for that i'll add plus one i am visiting the neighbors i'll get the size of that particular subtree and to compute the total size including the current i'll i'm storing in this total size then for first time i don't know what the size of any subtree so i'm initializing it minus one whenever it is my if it is minus still minus one I'll initialize with this. This will only happen for first subtree, right? Then afterwards, if I have already have a size, I will compare with this current subtree size. If it is not equal, then this current node is not a good node. So I'm making it as false. Then if the current node, if it is a good node, I need to increment the count, right? Count of good nodes in the tree. So I'll do that here. Yeah, at the end, I'll simply return this answer yeah that's it let's run it yeah submit yeah i hope you understood the implementation so if you didn't solve in the contest make sure you upsolve that's it guys for this video if you want to learn problem solving in detail uh, you can refer our smart coder course and I'll also drop the link in the description. You can head over there to know more about it. And if you like this content, do like, share and subscribe. I'm Harry Vardhan signing off.